Greens 1L, how's everyone doing? I hope well, just uh, out here in the natural forest. I'm, I literally just bushwhacked in. If I post this video, I don't know what order I'm gonna put these videos in, but I wanna talk about uh, coming out to the woods and forgetting something at home. And uh, something that, you know, if I do it, I always admit to it. You know, this is actually a video reshoot because I shot this already at the park but I wasn't happy with the way it came out, so I decided just to, I'm just gonna delete the whole video. It's not the first time that's happened. But, uh, you know, I'm out here in the woods today, and as I was getting ready, I had my pack already set up and ready, but I ended up doing a, a pack dump on my bed, because it's right next to my shelves where I keep all my gear. And I, I looked over everything, I'm like, you know, did I forget anything? And I'm looking, and I'm looking, and I'm like, oh, I don't have a spoon to eat my lunch with. So I grabbed the spoon and I'm looking again and I put everything back in the bag and then I was in the shower and I was thinking, you know, did I put a stove in there? So I went and looked and sure enough, I forgot to put a stove in there too. So I, you know, quickly threw a stove in there, so good to go. But, uh, you know, the reason for the video is, you know, it was, I was thinking about it because I remember re reading and seeing other comments from other, you know, commenters and other videos and they're like, oh man, you forgot something, I can't believe it, how could you forget something? And I thought, what's the big deal? I mean, we're only human. I mean, just because we talk to a camera with nobody else around doesn't mean that we're not humans. I mean, you know? And yeah, I forgot something. What's the big deal? And you know, honestly, if your skill set is dialed in, I mean, if you forgot a spoon, big deal, you, you carve a new one. If you, you know, forgot to bring cordage, you know how to make your own. Yes, it's time consuming, but you can still make you can make your own cordage if you knew how. Uh, you know, trying to recreate a container is a little bit harder, but you know, people have done it. I mean, they've carved out uh, bowls, or they burned out a bowl, and then put rocks in it, boil water that way. You know, people have made videos on that. It's not not a new thing. Um, you know, even um, even a knife. I mean, when everyone loves their knives, but. I mean, I don't see primitive survival or primitive technologies out there with, uh, with a, you know, bushcraft knife. He's out there with rocks, in shorts, barefoot, making videos, you know, a hundred times better than mine. And he doesn't even talk into damn things. He's just out there doing his thing. And he even admits it's just a hobby for him. But he does a great job. So, I don't know why we're, or, you know, I don't know why, what, you know, give the YouTuber a break, man. Now I personally, you know, I don't like I've said on many video, I don't I don't have a pack sitting by the door ready to go on every trip. I always, always, you know, the minute I get home, I unpack everything and I put everything back on the, the organized shelf mess you, that you saw in another video. I do that every time because every trip I might want to bring something different. I might want to bring a different cook pot. I may want to bring a different knife. I may want to bring a different uh speaking of knife, you know my main knife today. Is the uh, more bushcraft block, and I brought two others. A uh, new one I've just got, and then uh, a little, a little neck knife that I have in my bag, which I might do a video on if I get to it. So, yeah, I mean, well, what's the big deal? Why is this such a taboo? Oh my God, you forgot. Like, well, you know, you, you, you know, not uh, along with that. Whatever happened to just adapt and overcome? You know, all right, you forgot something, but. You roll with it. You roll with what you forgot. I mean, people can make fire with nothing, come out here and still achieve fire because they know what rocks to look for so they can get a spark. Um, they can do the bow drill. I've seen videos where people have come out here and from scratch made a set with no knife, got an ember, took their bird nest, blew it into flame. I mean, with nothing but their bare hands because they knew what to do and they knew what to look for. You know, it'd be nice to be at that level. You just come out here, you got like a, a tiny bag or something hanging on your belt, and you're just out here doing your thing, and it's like, okay, cool. That's a, uh, oh, I don't have a, don't have a fair seam rod. Well, no problem, I'll just do friction fire. Boom, fire. If, you know, if you're, I mean, it takes a lot of practice and skill, but, you know, people, you know, there are people at that level who can come out here with next to nothing and be just as fine with a guy carrying a pack with $1,000 worth of gear. So, because you know what, what's the, what weighs nothing is knowledge. Knowledge weighs nothing. 
you know, people who have, you know, practice skills and and a head full of information just floating around, they can just come out here and get it done with less. You know, like Morris Kohansky said, the more you know, the less you carry. So, you know, just some thoughts. You know, I guess that's it. If I think of something else, I'll uh, turn the camera back on, squawk a little bit more. I hit five minutes, I might just keep this short. Um, yeah. So, as always, I do appreciate you watching. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Yay, nay, agree, disagree. You know, we'll get a little discussion going. And as always, I thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Alright, peace out.